Lana Scott Lighthouse. So I don't know about anybody else, but today what I have been getting all day long is meditate, meditate, meditate. And last night I heard one of my angels, um, my, I had the ear ringing going off. And afterwards, I thought, that's one I've never heard before. And I realized, we call it ear ringing, but to me, it sounds like different frequencies. Like every angel or every spirit guide has its own frequency. And I distinctively heard, we've been waiting for you. So, at the same time, it feels like everything's kind of in a pause moment while I'm still waiting for the dates to come around to get some things done on particular dates. And... I just feel like that there's an important job for healers right now. You know, you have to have, you know, you have to shine your torch and lead the way. But at the same time, the universe is going to do everything in divine timing. So I've been getting, like I said, all day today, <coughs> meditate, meditate, meditate. So I've been meditating a lot today. I mean, I did my healer's rune reading, which um, I'm going to put up before this one and I'm having to go down the road where the Wi-Fi is good so that I can upload my videos. And because right now we're just, it's, I don't know, somebody said something about a lot of solar flares. So maybe that's what the, the deal is. But the Wi-Fi here has just been, I mean, one minute it's working and, you know, you can be talking to someone on the phone or something. And the next thing you know, it's just, it just goes. So I don't know if it's solar flares or whatever. But if you find that right now, it's like one of those lazy Sundays Spend some time for, with yourself. Do some meditating. Um, it feels like something's coming, but I'm not sure what it is. I just know that I was told we've been waiting for you. Now, what that means exactly, I don't know. But I distinctively heard it in, you know, almost like a memory of someone saying that. But it was a voice I'd never heard before. And that sometimes is what happens when I get the frequencies of the ear ringing. Especially if it's one I've never heard before. And here lately, it seems like every time my ears ring, it's a different frequency. Either it's like I get real low, soft ones. And then I get some that feel like they're right vibrating in my ear. Like if different lineaged angels or different spirit guides are coming by to impart their own little bit of wisdom. And then I have to, it takes about, sometimes I, I understand right away. Other times, it's not till, for some reason, they make me go lay down. I'll suddenly get real tired. And right before I almost get to a point of, you know, that little time where you're awake and then all of a sudden you feel like you're right before you drift off to sleep, I'll get like a message or a real strong feeling of this is what the message was that I got earlier. So it takes a little while. I heard Chris Rex say this on Minopon too. He says sometimes when he gets a message on when he's doing his tarot, he won't understand what they mean right away. And he'll be halfway through the reading and then something will pop out because his messages are channeled like a lot of us. And it'll actually have to do with a card before that. So I've been kind of getting those too, but I don't do tarot cards anymore. But it'll be like, I'll be almost asleep or um, just kind of like meditating or just sitting here, just drinking a cup of coffee and something will just suddenly come to me. And it's like, maybe it just takes a little while to assimilate or whatever, or for it to, the message to like go through and then come into some kind of, scripted message I can understand. I don't know if any of the rest of you are having that, but I'm beginning to feel like because we're all different because, you know, they broke the mold and they made you. There's only one you. I don't care if you have, you know, if you're a set of triplets, every single one of you is different. So you're going to receive messages differently. And me, I get a variety of type of messages. I know I've talked about this before, but sometimes I'll, you know, get an ear ringing and then a, 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 one, a, a movie will pop up in my head and I'll hear one line from the movie, the actor or actress saying something and it'll be like, oh, maybe that's what that message was. And it'll feel right. Intuitively, it'll feel right. So, and other times it, it's like, I don't know, I can't, I can't really describe it all, folks. I'm trying real hard, but I'm on my own spiritual journey just like you are. And different messages come through in different ways. So... Pay attention to all those little intuitive hits you get. Rather, it's a movie you suddenly remember that you didn't see or um, uh, you remember a part of a book that you read one time. And I just feel like the angels and the spirit guides and all the spiritual help that we have at different times, they tell us different things using different means. Rather, you see a sign on the side of the road. Rather, you um, hear a song on the radio. 
uh, one tarot reader I know, Baba Jali, talks a lot about certain songs or certain um, animals that you see in a picture of one or a, a cloud in the sky. I had that happen recently. Um, or whatever. However, the, the that your spiritual help sends you messages. And you know. You know when you get one. Because you'll go, oh yeah. But can you really explain that to anyone? Sometimes you can. Sometimes you can't. But you know what it meant. So you listen to those guys. Because... <clears throat> As a healer, you're always constantly healing yourself because we all go through all different kinds of trauma and different situations. We all go through similar situations, <clears throat> most of us, but trying to get the meaning and the lesson out of it sometimes takes a little bit. So just try to use your intuition, use your discernment. Don't let nobody push you around. Try to understand what the universe is telling you. Right now, the universe seems to be telling me, hurry up and wait. Be patient. Be patient. It's coming. And then yesterday, that clear as a bell, it was like a feminine energy almost, said, we've been waiting for you. And I'm like, waiting for me for what? So, but I heard it. So, pay attention to that stuff, folks. Even your dreams. Messages can come through your dreams, too. Um, you can have a dream about something and, and like I had a psychic dream one time about a house. I don't know if I told y'all this one or not. Where when I first bought my house in Mississippi, my son met a girl who lived in a house on the hill. And one day I was invited over and I walked into this huge ass house and I'm looking around and going, oh, I dreamed about this house. And I actually, she, the lady let me go in and if I can ever find those, I'll look for the pictures. I have them somewhere here and I will bring put these pictures and I'll show you all these pictures and tell y'all of the different ones that I dreamed. I said, I, I think I've said I'd, I'll do that before and I'm still going to do my rock collection just to let y'all know. Um, we're just the Wi-Fi so bad. I'm just like, and I can only put so much on my phone. So just listen to your intuition guys and see what message is coming through right now. And I'm just hearing a lot of be patient. It's coming, but you know, divine timing is everything. So that's my little extra message for today. And I love you guys and thank you for having patience with me and for everything that I'm trying to do. And if it resonates, great. Keep it. If it doesn't, file it away for later. If you can't use it at all and doesn't seem to resonate for you, you can throw it in the garbage can. I have found sometimes that when, that when I hear people talking about different things, sometimes they don't mean anything. And then later something will come up and I'll get a memory and I'll go, oh, that's what that meant. Even overhearing a, a casual conversation between two other people can have great meaning and depth in your life at a later date. Because it was the angels or your spirit guide's way of telling you something, but you don't make no sense of it till later. I've heard other people talk about the same thing um, in tarot card readings and other conversations and other people I've talked to even friends and family that say they've had similar uh, situations and similar experiences. So don't discount nothing because sometimes you'll hear something and it won't even make sense till a week, a month later. And you'll go, you know, like, like someone telling a joke and you don't get the punchline till like three years later, you hear something and go, uh, that old joke pops in your head. And you go, Oh, that's what that meant. Gee, uh, boy, man, I just don't understand why I didn't get that right away. It just works that way. Sometimes everything's in divine timing folks. I love all of y'all. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and share. Lana Scott, Lighthouse.